Welcome to part two of the Do the Math screencasts. In this short screencast, we will explore the structures for providing this intervention using data to place students in the appropriate modules. Just a quick review if you missed part one. Do the Math is an intervention program using explicit instruction 20 to 30 minutes per day, three to four times a week in a small group setting. Creator Marilyn Burns has over 40 years of educational experience and has the insight and experience of knowing how to help students where they struggle. The emphasis is on making meaning. Students learn to see relationships and make connections and math is no longer an unconnected series of isolated events and skills. This program builds on students' prior knowledge and explores students' understandings and misunderstandings. Remember, Do the Math is an intervention taught in addition to CORE. Schools that showed the most growth in their students had explicit instruction in Do the Math, 20 to 30 minutes, three to four times a week in groups of two to eight students. Again, this is in addition to CORE. Think about the structures you have in your literacy block. How might those structures transfer to the math block? Looking at the structures in your school, there are some questions to consider. Who will be providing this intervention? Teacher, special ed, student teacher, para. When can teachers carve out 20 to 30 minutes per day, three to four times a week, with eight or fewer students? Where will this instruction be delivered? In a classroom, as a small guided group, pull out, or by another provider, before or after school? Let's look at our framework for math instruction. It allows for structures for small group instruction and supports for students who need intervention. During the math workshop, you could provide a small group for intervention. Many teachers found success in structuring one of their small groups in a do the math intervention group. Do the Math also has various games that reinforce number sense that would benefit all students. Look at the CD and also the Black Line Masters at the end of the Teacher's Edition. These activities could be part of your math workshop. What are the things that you are using to identify students to place in an intervention? Some data that teachers have used to identify students have been the K2 screener, GEM Assessment, Acuity, TCAP, End of Unit Assessment, and YPP. Every module has a beginning of module assessment, and that's found in the back of your teacher's guide. If sc students score too low, that module might be too difficult. If they score too high, they probably don't need that particular module for intervention and if students have a high rate of absenteeism, this might not be the best intervention, especially if it's delivered in a small group. Every fifth lesson, progress monitors the previous four lessons. Each module also comes with an objectives tracker found in the back of your teacher's edition. The objectives tracker provides a tool for keeping track and progress monitoring your students throughout the module. You'll probably have a student or two who need even more differentiation within your small group. You'll find additional ideas for differentiation in the professional resource book that comes with each module. Thank you for joining us. In the next screencast, we'll focus on data collection, games, and community news.